Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul and people always ask me what equipment I use or what camera they should get to start a YouTube channel. So I wanted to make this video showing how to make a YouTube video with a budget of only $100. Right now I'm using equipment only worth $100 and you can tell that the video quality is still pretty good overall. Now I want to preface this video by saying that content is almost always more important than video quality. You could have the best video quality in the world but it wouldn't mean anything if you didn't have good content behind it. But at the same time a lot of good content can be ruined by blurry video, bad audio, or bad lighting. So this video will hopefully show you guys how to make your videos to your fullest potential. So let's start with the camera, what people almost always ask for the most. And I've said this before, but I think that audio quality and lighting are more important than something like a super high resolution 4K camera with tons of features and stuff like that. So I haven't actually put any of the $100 budget towards the camera. Most people don't know that the video quality from a recent smartphone is oftentimes as good or even better than sub $100 cameras. Right now I'm recording with my iPhone 7, but really any smartphone that can film in 1080p should do the trick. For example, I started my channel with my Galaxy S4 smartphone that filmed in 1080p and nobody ever complained about the video quality. Now I do add color correction to the video, right now you can see what it looks like without color correction and then I'll edit in right now what it looks like with color correction. So for just a few minutes of work you can get a much cleaner and more pleasing picture. And I actually follow a tutorial from a guy named Peter McKinnon. I'll link it down below and he shows you how to color correct video very easily and it just makes the quality look much nicer. Now you'll need something to set your phone on to actually film yourself and you can definitely use a makeshift stand, maybe lean it up against a shoe or something. But for only $5 you can get this mini phone tripod that I have here and it makes things a lot easier. This was actually the first piece of equipment I ever purchased for my channel and I still use it every now and then if I need to shoot something with my phone. So let's move on to audio and the audio setup I'm using right here is from a company called Toner. Now they have a killer value for a complete setup that comes with the microphone itself, a suspension boom arm, a shock mount, a windscreen, and a pop filter all for just $32. The mic, the boom arm, and shock mount are all built with metal and feel premium and durable. So this is an XLR mic, but it comes with an XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack and a USB plug-in, so you can use it directly to a computer, or you could plug it into a portable recorder like the Tascam DR40 that I'm currently using. So like I said, the audio quality is very impressive for the price, and I'm gonna switch to the audio quality on the onboard mic on the iPhone 7 right now. And as you can hear, it probably sounds a little bit more distant, maybe a little echoey. And I'm gonna switch back now, and you can hear it sounds much more crisp, you can hear me a lot better, just a better audio quality overall. So $32 for this whole setup is definitely a great deal, but if you buy it before February 12th, you can use the coupon code on screen now for 10% off so you can knock another $3 off that price. Moving on to lighting, I've got a pretty simple setup going on right here. So for $35 you can get a 4 socket softbox that comes with the reflector and the 4 socket adapter and you can put all that on a cheap light stand from eBay that costs only about $13. Of course you're also going to need some nice bright light bulbs to go with that setup and you can get a two pack of 85 watt daylight fluorescent light bulbs for only $17. You can get four of these bulbs obviously because there's four sockets on the softbox which would be ideal but that would push us over the budget so for now we're only using two. So this is what it looks like with the light off and this is what it looks like with the light on. Clearly a lot better. So hopefully this video taught you guys that you don't need a huge budget to still make high quality videos. As long as you've got the three basics down of audio quality, lighting, and video quality, you should be good to go. So as a reminder, a link to everything I mentioned in this video is in the description down below. So check that out if you're looking to purchase any of these items. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for some more content coming soon. Thanks.